the couple, from Texas, allow their 2,500 pounds buffalo, named Wild Thing, to roam free inside their house. He has his own room so he can watch action movies, and even eats his breakfast from the kitchen table. And to illustrate how integral he is to their family, Wild Thing was best man at their wedding a decade ago. Ronnie, 60, and Sharon, 44, sold their herd of 52 buffalo 13 years ago, but opted to keep hold one calf. Sharon said, it was my idea to bring Wild Thing in the house when he was a young calf, I said we should bring him in. I told Ronnie, he only lives once so we might as well do something different with him. Ronnie said, he is the real life bull in a china shop, although I'm surprised he doesn't do more damage with his 400 pounds head when he comes and goes as he pleases. It's like a car coming through the house. He has his own room where he watches TV, but his favorite room requires a bit of furniture moving to get him in each time. They sold their herd after Ronnie lost vision in his left eye, and could no longer keep up with the demands of looking after the huge animals. Wild Thing is now entering middle age at the age of 11, and has now even become good pals with Ronnie and Sharon's pack of wolves. Ronnie said, Wild Thing is such a part of our family that he was my best man, when we got married 10 years ago. It's always a tight squeeze whenever you want to walk past him in the house and luckily all our doorways are big enough for him. He has a barn and land to walk about in, but he loves coming in to watch TV. He likes fast moving stuff so doesn't care much for the news. It's taken 10 years for him to let my wife brush him and he's not safe for other people to come near. Something spooked him and he hit me between his horns and carried on running with me holding on, my wife thought I was dead. Bears are way more safe than buffalo which are the largest land mammal native to North America. But we wouldn't have life any other way. He's our pet and we love him.